I'm back with another chapter of Jeannie B. Jones has a peep in her pocket and we are on chapter seven and chapter seven is called Spike. So I'm thinking in this chapter, there's gonna be something spiky, something pointy or prickly. Ready to dive in? Let's go. After lunch, it was time to get the children together again. I clapped my hands real loud some more. Okay, people, the fun is over. Get your buddy and get in line on account of Farmer Flores wants to talk some more, apparently. Farmer did a teensy frown at me. Then he holds in my hand and we walked across the yard to another fence. Inside the fence, there was a building and some chickens. Okay, everyone, said Farmer Flores, this is the last stop on the tour today. He pointed. Who can tell me what that little building is right there? Lucille jumped up and down real happy. The gift shop, the gift shop. I've been wondering where that was, she said real delighted. Farmer Flores did a chuckle. Well, that's a good guess, but most farms don't have gift shops. He looked at the class. I'll give you a hint, he said. My wife and I get eggs for our breakfast every morning from that little house over there. Just then a boy named Roger jumped up and down and all around. I know, I know, he shouted. It's a hen house. Farmer Flores smiled. Right, he said. It's a house where hens lay their eggs. Farmer Flores opened the gate. I tugged on his shirt. He bended down next to me. Is there a rooster in there too, I asked, kind of scared. Just one, he said, but lots of chickens. Want to go in and say hello? I shook my head real fast. Then I runned away from the gate speedy quick. Polly Allen Puffer and Jim laughed and pointed. Look at Junie B. Jones, they hollered. Junie B. Jones is afraid of roosters. Farmer Flores made an angry face at those two. Hey, 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 he said. I'm surprised at you boys. There's nothing wrong with someone being cautious about roosters. Just then, some of the other children looked kind of scared too. Why, asked Lucille, is the rooster going to peck us? Farmer Flores shook his head. No, he said. That old rooster in there is a pretty calm fella, but that doesn't mean Junie B should get laughed at. And here's a picture of Junie B afraid to go in to the hen house. He smiled a little bit. Why, I've been around farm animals all my life, he said, but every once in a while I still come across an animal that I don't get along with. Farmer laughed. In fact, we used to have a goat who nipped at me every time I got near him, and for years I made my wife go in his pen and feed him. After that, Farmer Flores winked at me, and Mrs. and I could wait outside the gate. My shoulders relaxed very much. I sat down on the grass outside the fence. Only, wait till you hear this. Pretty soon, Farmer leaned over the fence where I was sitting, and he was holding a baby yellow chick. I giggled and giggled, that cute little thing. A chick, a baby chick, can I hold it, Farmer, please, I asked. Farmer Flores put the baby chick in my hand. It was fluffy and soft and light as feathers. Oh, I love it, Farmer, I love this baby chick. After that, I put the chick in the grass and on my lap and in my straw hat. Plus, I also put it in my big, wide pocket. I peeked at it in there. That must be what the cover is about. She's got the little chick in her pocket. And let's look at Junie B holding that little chick so nicely. I wish I could take you home with me, I said. I wish I could take you home to my house and then you could live with me and my dog Tickle forever and ever. Would you like that, huh? Would you? The baby chick did a peep. Hey, you said yes, I said. I turned around. Did you hear that, Farmer? The baby chick said it would like to come home with me. Farmer shook his head. Oh, I don't know, Junie B, he said. I'm not sure you'd really like having Spike grow up at your house. I did a frown at that man. Spike? Who's Spike, I asked. Farmer pointed to the chick. Spike the chick, he said. We named the little guy Spike. I peeked at the chick again. Yeah, only Spike is not actually a good name for a fluffy baby chick, I said. I know, Junie B. But Spike isn't going to be a little chick forever, you know. I know, I said back, because someday Spike will be a big giant chick, right, Farmer? Farmer Flores shook his head again. Well, not exactly, he said. I looked at him real curious. What if Spike won't be a big chick? Well, if he's not going to be a big chick, what's he going to be, I asked. Farmer Flores took Spike from me. He held him in his hands and patted his little softy head. Someday, Junie B., Spike will be a rooster. You know, Junie B's afraid of those. And that's the end of chapter seven. So Junie B, I thought Junie B was gonna try and take the baby chick that she finds home in this front picture.
But now we learn that maybe she won't because the chick is going to turn out to be a rooster. And we know that Junie B does not like roosters. Now, I'm going to read the next chapter two, chapter eight, because it's only three pages. Okay, so let's dive into chapter eight called Confusion. I had some confusion in my head because first I didn't like roosters, but I liked Spike, the chick. Only Spike was going to grow up to be a rooster. And so now, what am I supposed to do? I didn't talk much after that, because confusion takes a lot of thinking, that's why. Plus, also, I might need counseling. Finally, the children finished seeing the chickens, and they came out through the gate. Then Farmer held my hand one more time, and he took us to a field with wildflowers. He said we could pick some flowers for our mothers, because that would be like a gift from the gift shop, he said. After all of us had our flowers, Mrs. took our picture with the nice man. And here's the bestest part of all. Farmer Flores took off his hat, and his head was not a nub. I danced all around that guy, very thrilled. Farmer Flores, your head is not a nub. He wrinkled up his eyebrows. Um, thank you, he said. You're welcome, Farmer, I said back, because guess what? Now I don't have to be afraid of roosters anymore. I jumped up and down. Now maybe I can be afraid of goats, just like you, I shouted. After that, Farmer looked at me for a real long time. Then he rolled his eyes way up to the sky. I looked up there too, but I didn't see anything. And here's the picture. And that is the end of Junie B. Jones has a peep in her pocket. Did you enjoy it? I certainly did. It was a good story to read around this springtime when all the baby animals are being born. We'll have to pick another read aloud for Junie B. Jones. So tune in next time to see the new book we start. Bye.